Hi, I'm Anna. And I'm Ben. And we are Autosave. Welcome to our channel. Today, we are watching Season 1, Episode 3 of Hori Mia. And I am excited. Uh, last episode, my big takeaway was seeing Miyamura headbutt Sengoku. Yes. And that was amazing because Sengoku put Hori on the spot, accusing her of a lack of diligence and caring about the budget reports when in reality it was sengoku's girlfriend ayasaki who dropped the budget report and said just throw it away just throw it away who needs that no one needs that no. <laughs> uh i hope that we get to see more toru and toru and miyamura interacting with each other it is amazing and pure i love their table tennis scene a lot yeah they definitely have a really great uh, friendship that has started and it's nice to see Miyamura developing these little friendships alongside his you know the focal point of the show friendship with Hori um, and I hope that we get to see what Toru got Hori for her birthday me too if he got her anything I hope he I hope he does I know I don't think he could like do as well as Miyamura did with that CD of like the popular music that kids are listening to nowadays. Yeah. Um, but I would still like to see what he picked out for her. Me too. Uh, we, we ended like the break that they were on was coming to an end after Hori's birthday. And they were both kind of coming to a realization at how quick time was moving. And I think that that might motivate them to spend more time together, perhaps, or just, you know, be more into their friendship. Yeah. Ready? Yes. Sweet. Hi. Hold hands. Aw. Oh no. He didn't want to hold hands with anyone? Aww. How dare. I mean, it must suck to be talked about in front of you like that. Yeah. Like, someone take him. Did, was he piercing his own ears? Yeah. 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 <gasps> It's so weird to see them like meet each other. Yeah, it really is. Like this. <laughs> Straight to the point. <laughs> oh. That probably meant the world to me, Amora. <laughs> and he thinks she she's kind of weird. Oh, it is so weird to see them looking the same. It's not like they didn't even do any like different hair or anything, different hairstyles. They're the same age they are in the show. It's just like slightly earlier on, I guess, in the school year before they really meet and become friends. So that was really odd to see. I'm really glad that we got a little bit of Miyamura's backstory. I wonder if we're going to see, like, where that goes, how that affects how he is now, you know? Yeah, why is he so gloomy? Is there something at home that makes him that way? Maybe he isn't gloomy at all, and, like, he's just quiet, or yeah. nobody gives him the chance, you know? Do you feel like the intro is, like, way more focused on him emotionally? I feel like there's way more moments in the intro of, like, him and his emotional state... And so that almost makes you feel like he's the real main character, the real emotional development that we're going to be seeing highlighted. Hmm. <laughs> oh, yes. Good. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Do you think he wants them to, like, accept him for his outside of school self as well? Probably. I mean, Toru knows what he, like, is like, you know? Mm -hmm. 
I love the oversized sweatshirt cardigan. He's gonna get to this point where he's like, why are any of them friends with me? And all of them are gonna be like, you big dummy! He's not Aww. present. Yeah, of course. What's this about? What do you want to talk to him about? No? あと堀と仲いいのが無条件でムカつく。目が寝とって髪上げるとは女子より美人。ムカつく。男に美人。あ、ノーザルーマーズワー <laughs> 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 Yay! <laughs> oh, he was smiling a little. <laughs> I love them so much. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I love it so much. I think I just let out a squeal. Confirm our friendship. Oh, so he knew exactly what was happening with that. That's so cute. She brings him this piece. Yeah. Honestly. So close. So close to that first name friendship. Do you think that Miyamura is like think like overthinking it in his head, or do you think he's just like more comfortable saying? Probably, he seems like an overthinker for sure. Yeah. <gasps> she is really cute. I know. Oh, I love the pink hair and the pigtails. Oh, they're awkward. so awkward now because of what happened. What? 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 <laughs> what? Is this going to be the first time she ever thinks of him that way because Maybe. someone brought it up to her? She but what about Sengoku? Wait, I'm confused. Was she, like, as is friends? she not Sengoku's girlfriend? Oh. Oh my gosh. Is someone gonna be there? Is he gonna be in the room or something? The seed has been planted in her head of thinking of him as a blushy. hot guy and a possible boyfriend. Soccer. Ooh. Oh. I mean, like, the whole reason Miyamura was there to begin with was Sota. Yeah. So now that Sota's not there, they have to kind of confront whatever relationship they're going to have. <laughs> The power went out? Oh, oh, spooky. This is the perfect, perfect, like, setup for a cute <laughs> scene between them. Oh. 
Oh no. <laughs> I really wonder what Toru is gonna think when when and if, you know, Hori and Miyamura. Yeah. Their hands are so close. Are to they each gonna other? touch hands? <gasps> <gasps> Is one of them going to realize that they're touching hands right now? <gasps> what? 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 <laughs> what? No. <laughs> Wait, did, just, did he did he hear it? Did he really hear it? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I'm freaking out right now. I'm so like, what? Okay, she was joking. <gasps> oh my gosh. This is like a big test yeah. of their new little friendship that's really sweet. Ohio. No, did Toru punch him? No. No. Oh my, they're both beat up. He looks worse. Yeah. Toru looks worse. Oh my god. I like that they like split up Me too. and Hori took him and Demo。俺は宮村が好きだ。前にも言ったね。でもそれはないよ。ああ。Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> so this is how their fight started. Yeah. Oh, they are perfect friends. Do you think they the really Toru is going to tell him? Me more. Self defense. They're so cute. I love them. Oh my oh. god. <laughs> oh, she loves that she knows something Hori doesn't. Is this the makeup scene? <gasps> no! Don't rob me of the makeup Give scene! Us the makeup no! Scene. I wanted I am, the makeup scene. I, you know, I'm really invested in Hori and Miyamura, but. I kind of might be more invested in Toru and Miyamura's <laughs> friendship, honestly. It's, it's your BL infatua infatuation. Dude, maybe, I don't know. It's just like a cute friendship. No, and they really like is. duked each other, you know, like yeah. to get in that fight. And then it was just totally clear that they weren't like mad at each other for fighting. Yeah. I love it. It really seems like Miyamura is able to completely be himself around Toru. Yeah, once he had that kind of confrontation and the scene where he showed him his tattoos and yeah. stuff, like once that happened, and then the very end, they were talking and Yoshikawa and Hori were like, what happened to them? Why are they so close? Like once that happened, I was like, they are going to be really great friends. So what was the I love you thing about? Like a, like a friend, I love you? I don't know, because now I'm confused. Did that f that fight obviously happened after, after they said I love you to each other? So does that mean Miyamura completely misunderstood the situation? 
if he was like, you're, she only loves me as a friend. I feel like he might have felt the initial, like, oh my god, this is it at first, and then completely and then convinced himself, himself it. that it wasn't the case. And then I feel like if she, me and Mora told that to Hori, Hori would pissed. slap him. <laughs> she'd be so pissed. Or, or he, uh, she doesn't realize it. I mean, that's either. what she gets so upset about is when he, like, has misunderstood um, her intentions with their friendship to begin with. Yeah. And so if she had heard that they were fighting because Miyamura said that she didn't love him, she would have been, like, embarrassed, like, or blushy and, like, but I did say that, you know? Because she did. Definitely. And then they were kind of like, yeah, I know. You know, it was just a really sweet moment. All right. That was season one, episode three of Horimiya. Thoughts? Um, cute. Cute. (laughs) (laughs) I just think that... I don't really know completely where the show is going to go in terms of um, how their relationship is going to play out. Like, I've watched a, quite a bit of anime that is, like, romance in theme. And I would say, for the most part, they normally don't get together until the very end. And all you even get is a handhold. Mm. Well, we got a handhold in episode three. That Let's was go. amazing. My, like, heart and head were exploding at the same time. Yeah, I just, I, I know for a fact that it just feels like he has talked himself out of that exchange that happened and maybe told himself that she was just saying, I love you, like, I really care about you. Or I like you, like, as a friend. Yeah. And he just completely talked himself out of it. I'm not sure, because obviously he got in the fight afterwards saying like pretty adamantly like why do you think that she likes me like you don't even have evidence i mean and he kind of does and i'm wondering if and when the day will come that toru tells him what he overheard he literally overheard ayasaki saying that hori announced at her angrily that miyamura is hers yeah and I'm like, for a second there, I was like, oh my god, Ayasaki and Sangoku must have broken up. But I guess she was just. Like, I think Ayasaki just like stirring the pot a little bit. Honestly, I, I love a her bit. a lot. The yeah. stir the pot kind of thing. I want to um get to know Yoshikawa more. Which yeah, is uh, me too. Hori's best friend. Yeah, me too. She seems she really ha- cute. She's like this cute little um, just. Right now, she's just kind of like a he-he-he-in-the-background kind of character, but I hope that she has more of an emotional role in... Like, obviously, Tolru is getting an emotional role in the show, just like Miyamura and Hori'd have, where, you know, his feelings have been on the line since the very beginning, and now he's going to have to be... He's already being faced with the idea of this guy that he's starting this really great friendship with, to the point where Miyamura now probably spends half of his time there and half yeah. of his time at Hori's house. So he's going to be faced with that, like, oh, shoot, I really love this friendship that I've formed, but hmm. I'm still in love with Hori. And I'm like, oh, no. I think we're going to learn more about her or at least, like, why or maybe the origin of her and Hori becoming Oh, like their or- friendship yeah. origin. I like that idea. So I like what they're doing with Sota. I like I like how they're aging him with the story, and because he's aging, he's acting differently mm-hmm. because he's at a different age and he has different wants and you know. It's a great plot device to have yeah. him age as well because he is literally the reason that Miyamura was coming over at first was to hang out with both of them, and now it's kind of like they're having dates. Yeah. Now that Sota is gone, they're watching movies together, like. It just seems a lot more like they're a couple now that the the third wheel is they're, gone. They're getting that intimate room to, like, grow. They said something like, sometimes our conversations peter out. And right when that happened, in my head, I'm like, that's okay. That's, that's totally okay. okay. You can like, hang out in the same room together and just love being with the person. And not talk. You yeah. don't have to always have something to say. Like, always being able to talk about stuff with the person that you like isn't a testament to how strong you love the person or how good you are together at all yeah i i really really so before this episode obviously in my mind i'm like okay they could get together right but if they didn't it's more show about friendship and i'm here for it 
now after this episode, I'm like, oh my god, I can see the potential and they laid it in front of me and I want it so bad. It really does, um... I don't know, like, the intro just really shows me with Miyamura and this episode in particular and his flashbacks and then his kind of responses to Toru wanting to call him Izumi. Yeah. You know? Izumi. Um, so... I feel like they're definitely showing that he's the one that kind of has the most emotional growth to to go. Like, he is the one that is lying to himself on the inside, that's keeping himself down. Like, Hori is true to herself at home, and she's true to herself at school. You know, she just doesn't mix them completely. Yeah, I, I mean, it makes sense why Miyamura is the way that he is. Like, we, like we saw firsthand what he had been through. Obviously, you can't, like, flip that like a switch and, like, ignore all that and act like it didn't happen. So, I understand it, and I kind of like that they're not shoving it down our throat. Like, like, this is the reason why, like, how they're introducing it. I thought it was really cool how, after their big friendship conversation on the roof, the next morning, uh, he came up and instead of calling, like, he called him, what, Toru? No. He didn't. He, he called, called him Ishikawa. Ishikawa. And, uh, and it was like, I thought we were on a first name basis. It's so confusing. So weird. I feel like I could just be reading into it wrong, but it's like the internal struggle of like, you know, self-doubt. Self-doubt and like not, people can say something to you, but you don't know if they truly meant it or yeah. if they were just being nice. It seems like he's kind of trying to figure out if people are just being nice to him or if they genuinely want him around and he's not just like secretly being talked about is like Ugh, i can't believe he's here and he's following us around and it's like he can't to the point where he can't even see the actual physical body language of things that are happening around him like all of them pulling their desks to his mm -hmm. to work on the project together like he is so blinded by this like internal trying to figure out if he's bothering people if they genuinely like him that he's not noticing that they are physically bringing themselves closer to him breaking the fourth wall a little bit <laughs> i think i kind of feel a lot of uh relatable feelings to how we're assuming i guess mia Moore is feeling right now i think that like i'll get in my head a lot of times if people are telling me that they like care or love me or they're here for me i will internally without a doubt convince myself that they're lying why would they love me why would they care about me why I, I, and just say whatever i needed to say to convince myself otherwise because i don't deserve it or because one reason or another so it connects home with me a lot how it seems like Mia Moore is portraying how he's feeling and how he's going forward in the story. I'm excited to see where that goes. I think you just remind me of him in general. Just like the tattoos and the pierced mm. ears and cool hair. Mm. Oh, and the emotional stuff, mm. yes. <laughs> well, yeah. 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 <laughs> well, uh I am really excited to see where the show goes. I think we're probably going to going to get a little more of Sengoku and Ayasaki going forward in the story, and that's a pleasant thing to me cuz I like their addition to the cast. I there was a green-haired guy. Yes. And we don't really know him, and then there's the green-haired haired girl that's on the council. They were about they were about in this episode, which makes me feel like next episode, either one of them, both of them are going to have a bigger appearance because they were both just around in this episode, a little kind of like little side moments yeah. of them, uh, like kind of putting them into, into the friend group now in like little ways. Yeah. Because they were I, all standing together figuring out what class they were in. So obviously he's a part of this friend group in a way. It's like, okay, it's the story of, like, Hori Mia. So, of course, they're going to be in the same class, but for a second, I had a heart attack. For a second, I can, I was like, oh, no, what if they aren't in the same class, you know? I thought when he was like, Hori, you know, that he was going to mm -hmm. say they weren't in the same class. But really, it was just because um, Toru was making everyone whisper about their secret um, love relationship. <laughs> yeah i love it i love yep. it so much because i love their relationship and friendship so much i it, i like how they get into this 
literal like physical alter altercation yeah and they both separately come to the conclusion that it was their own fault mm -hmm. and like that you can tell like how much and how well they get along and it's really cool to see other than that that's all i have yeah that's you? all i have too uh, I, I, it's weird that i feel like i could talk about this show for a long time too even though it's like one of those oh just sit back and enjoy mm -hmm. but i gush over the characters in the story the characters are very gush worthy <laughs> not only are they just cute in design and i'm in love with the everyone being a different color um <laughs> thing but they all definitely are very gush worthy everybody could be a main character of an anime everyone <laughs> everyone in the story and i just love that i remember seeing a poster of this show it might be like the main poster used to advertise the show that was like each of the characters kind of in a little box in the different color and I feel like I'm finally seeing that that visual representation of the show really is matching what's happening in the show. Yeah. Is that we're getting these little showcases of each of those characters. That's a good point. I totally see that. Like I, I was, I went from oh, that's really cool intro to I see why that's the intro too. You mm -hmm. know. But until next time, please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you then.